Hello, hello, lovely people. Hope you guys are having a wonderful, blessed week so far. Can you believe we're in April already? Happy April Fool's Day. <laughs> so, guys, you know, I'm so glad that you're here today just for sharing with me. This lady, and I know most of you are sleeping <laughs> as I'm up. Um, we have been, all of us, most of us, I would say, have been working from home due to um, the coronavirus, COVID-19 pandemic. Um, and I noticed some things that have been going on with video conferences. Most of us have been using Zoom. And um, we know that, well, most of us know that video conferencing has become essential an essential component um, for the way that the world does business, the way that we connect to one another because um, of the spread of the virus and, and just having that um, space between each other so that we won't spread the virus back and forth. So, um, and you know, guys, I know that this way of life of doing business is different for most of you. So one of the benefits from all of this, I can say, is that you can still take advantage of the online meetings by setting up webinars, Facebook, and YouTube Lives, et cetera, just to continue to grow your business. So um, Take it as an advantage and, and move on. You know how they say take lemons, take lemons and make lemonade. So that's something that you probably wanted to do. So what I've decided to do is to help you with some video conferencing etiquette because I've seen some things and heard some things that not only um, that is distracting or can hurt a business, but there's some things to help you along the way. Um, some do's and don'ts of video etiquette. For the past 10 days or the next, the past 10 days, because I've done three days so far, um, I will share a post in the morning and it'll be a tip concerning video conferencing and etiquette that is. And then in the evening, I'll come back at 10 o'clock and um, keep them Eastern Standard Time and just expound or expand on that tip. So today's tip is uh, countdown number eight. Today's tip is to ensure your technology works correctly. Now, for one thing, some things that may be slowing your, te your technology down is because so many people are on the network now. So um, you may want to get on a little early um, to test things out. I, I usually have my alarm to go off an hour early, then 30 minutes early, so that I can prepare for my um, live. Um, so, you know, you don't have to delay a meeting with a, an important client or, you know, your video, video conferencing system. You don't have to worry about doing those things if they work properly and if you get on it and make sure that everything is set up correctly. Um, like I'll say for some women, what we do, if we invite anybody over our house, we're going to make sure that we clean it up before we, we bring in someone. So that's what you want to do. You just want to make sure that you kind of clean up your surroundings and make sure that your technology is working properly. So um, you can do a test run with um, a, a friend or a colleague to help you to either practice before your, um, your live. And I'll, in a minute, I'll tell you some things you can do. Um, and just, you know, find somebody that is willing to uh, help and to make sure that your process is fully taken care of before starting your video conferencing. Um, and this will make things run a lot smoother when you start your video. So some, one thing that you can do is to do a test video. So um, with Zoom, you can 
without sharing your video, you can do a test video and then you can save it and go back and look at at the, the video and see how things have gone. That, that would be your practice session. Um, and then another thing you can do, like if you want to go live, you can go live, but go into the settings and make sure that your private test screen is gone. And what do I mean by that? I mean that if you go live, you, before you go live, there, before you hit the blue go live button, you can select the private button and it will take you to a list of options. One would be select to, to select privacy. I mean, to select the privacy setting. And when you select the privacy setting, it's here where you can choose how your post will show up in your news feed um, or your profile or in your search results. So right now my settings is set for public. So that means that it will show up anywhere. So I can go in and I can download my video if I like and uh, upload it into YouTube, put it on my, um, on my website, e email it out, share it in a post. So whatever way you want to share your results after you get your video um, up, up and running. And you can also do it without going live. You can record your video, then you can download it and then edit it if you like. So when you go in, to the privacy settings. Like I say, you hit the public um, button first. You'll see that when you go into go live and you select go live, but don't hit the button, the green button to go live, the blue button to go live. You want to go into that page so that the, it, it takes you to the page first. And then when it goes into that page, what you want to do, thank you so much, um, Tania. For, um, and I'll look at your comments. I can't look at the comments right now, but at any rate, let me uh, continue to tell you what I'm trying to explain to you. So once you go into your, your video, um, like you're going live, there's an option or a little button that would say public. And when you click on that button, you're going to have a list of options going to come down. It's going to, um, you can select to, um, for only me, meaning that that video will only show up for you. Now, there are other options. You can do public, um, you can do, um, there's some of the other options. You can share it with a friend, um, you can share it in a group. So there's different options that you can use in that list. So check out the other options and you can share it with specific friends to get their feedback as well. So I just wanted to share that tip with you just to make sure that when you do a live that your video um, equipment or your technology works correctly because sometimes we do have some issues where it's running slowly, it's stopping. So do those test runs to see if, you know, that you won't have any, any issues. So well, that's all I have for you today. See you guys on tomorrow. Um, the same time, same that channel, um, share this useful information with your friends and like and comment. We'd love to get your feedback. So you guys have an awesomely blessed day as you know that this, these um, videos are conducted through you. I don't know if I even introduced myself. I'm Helena Richardson, web strategist for H-Rich Network. So you can visit my website at www.hrich.com. So you guys have a great evening and I'll see you soon. Take care.